Good afternoon and good morning, everyone. I'm Shemaine Grasso, Travel Industry Solutions, here with Bill Morris of Legato Host. And I'm excited to have this conversation today and share with all of you what makes Legato special in our industry. Just give me a moment as I go over and get us live on Facebook. Let's see. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday so far. And we'll just give another second to a few more that are coming in to join us today. It feels like morning. Bill, how's the how's the weather there? I am in Miami and it's we're I know you giggle at us, but we're a little cool having a winter morning here. We've got a beautiful day here in Colorado Springs. It's nice and sunny, scattered cloud, big fluffy white clouds. So uh we're enjoying it. It's a it's a great day for us here. The snow is pretty well melted, so all is good. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Well, great. Again, everyone, welcome here. I'm Shemaine Grasso, Travel Industry Solutions. I'm excited to be here this morning with Mr. Bill Morris. He's CEO and one of the owners of Legato Host. And we are seeing many more joining us today. So welcome, welcome to those that are just signing in. We are also live on Facebook and we are thrilled to share with you today what makes Legato special. There are certainly a lot of choices out there today, Bill. Um, and when I think of Legato, and I think I've been fortunate to be able to connect with your team last fall on a virtual event for Legato, and then I've met many of them, whether it's been at a recent AFTA meeting or coming into one of our live demos here for Travel Industry Solutions. And what I hear over and over from your, your network is that they appreciate the fact that Legato is family owned and operated. They feel and value that the fact that this community of advisors is strong, they feel heard. They're able to be, of course, they have professionalism and great knowledge and support from Legato, but they're able to be their own entrepreneurs. And this, is a few unique items out there today because as I mentioned, there's many, many choices and they're all different. So I'd love for you to share today with our audience a bit more about Legato. Thank you, Shemaine. I appreciate it. We appreciate the opportunity to be here with you today uh, and to have our partnership uh, with T TIS. It's uh, we think that's a, a great partnership and we, we really enjoy the product and the service you provide to the agents that are affiliated here with Legato. Um, just as a brief overview of some of our philosophy, I, I've been in the industry for 30 years and I've watched um, the independent agent be relegated to kind of bottom of the food chain over the years. And we felt that it was time to provide an alternative option uh, for the for independent agents, for people who truly want to own and operate their own business. So we have kind of reversed some of the ways that things are currently being done. We do view that there's only three key players in the industry. You as the advisor, uh, our supplier network, and us as the host providing the back end tools. So it's completely your brand. It's uh, You should be making the decisions. You don't need somebody to give you sales quotas. You don't need somebody to tell you which supplier to use uh, and which one not to use. You should be the one determining who provides the best service for your client and the best product. And we have a very robust uh, supplier network, nearly 200 suppliers around the globe servicing all types of travel. And then we continue to work to increase what our toolbox is available to you. Uh, we're very big on bringing new technology in. We have our own proprietary platform that everything's in, integrated and being integrated into. 
So we're real excited about where the future lies. And we've taken out all the middlemen because we feel that it's important that you get properly compensated. So um, we don't we don't see a need to charge monthly or annual um, fees. We don't see any purpose of having tiered commission structures. We believe that everybody works equally as hard for their client and that every client is of equal value. So we give all of our agents a 90-10 commission split. And um, we work diligently to create a community where agents can work with other agents, uh, where we open up as many avenues and as many doorways that are available within the industry. There's just a plethora of information out there. Um, navigating through it's a little tough at times, um, but we address a lot of these things through our coaching program. Um, we have a free coaching program, and we also customize your training directly to your business. So we do look at exactly what's your what's your goal for your business, what's your vision for your business, and what are you really bringing to the table? What what skills and knowledge and education do you already have that are directly applicable to your own business and will help guide you? And then look specifically for where you really need the the training to get your feet on the ground and really start taking ownership and control over your future and your business. So there's some of the key things. I love it, Bill. It's so good. It's I hear so many times from from your ICs that yes, they have maybe a specialization or a focus and they have personalized support from your team, but flexibility and their entrepreneurial spirit is important. Is that, I I believe there's so many that are exciting to hear when they're cha changing careers, right? And they're, they've maybe right. spent many years in a profession and then they're deciding to come into our great industry. Is that what you're finding many times or do you still receive some brand new members that no, are we, younger? We, we do cater very much to uh, new to industry, it's a it's a passion of mine to bring new people into the industry. Fresh, fresh ideas um, are always welcome and are needed in a in such a high growth bustling industry. One don't want to get too static in how we uh, look at things. So that is a big important factor to me. And um, so. We do, we do see a lot of people changing careers in their mid-40s, 50s, but we also see a very energized young population in their late 20s, in their 30s that have, you know, maybe they've gone to school, maybe they've um, started some careers and they just aren't what they thought they were going to be and they can't see doing that for the rest of their lives. And so they're looking for some ability to take control earlier on in life as they're looking at maybe their parents' generation of, of wanting something different and being willing to go and get it. So, um, you know, we're, we're seeing people from all walks of life and all ages right now. So it's been really exciting. I understand that. I imagine it's been quite the busy time for your team. Not only is it our traditional wave season, but... I do. I feel the energy out there from attending a few events in the past few weeks, just here in Florida, um, energetic agents that happened to be some ASTA events. And it was wonderful to hear the, the business that they're working on, the groups that they're building, the needs that they have, right? Yeah, I think the general public as a whole is, is demanding that the full extent of the travel industry be opened up post-pandemic. And, and though the industry as a whole still has some things to fix from behind the scenes, it's not going to recover. It's not fully recovered. But um, I think that the traveling public really is uh, highly focused on getting back out there on the road. The demand for travel advisors is off the chart right now. I think I think the pandemic taught a lot of people, yes, you can do the research out there and but how much of it's valid and how much are you really seeing 
and the value of what a, a professional travel advisor brings to the table that they can help you navigate through and and be able to put these pieces together that seem disjointed at times to the consumer. Uh, so I see a huge growth in not only the overall uh, sales within the travel industry, but the, the demand for qualified uh, travel advisors is at an all time high. I've never seen it this high in 30 years. Yeah, it's, it's excellent, Bill. And when I hear so much um, that your, your ICs appreciate the support they have, as I've mentioned, how do you allow them to connect or how often do you, are you doing quite a few in-person events? Are you connecting virtually? What seems to work? Uh, we use a number of systems. First of all, we connect through our own, uh, similar to an internal um, private Facebook platform. So agents can ask questions of each other uh, within our, our own platform. Uh, we do an annual conference. We've got one coming up here in a couple months down in Savannah, Georgia, bringing partners, uh, travel advisors, suppliers, the Legato staff all together. Uh, really good from a training standpoint, high intensity training, but also that networking. And we've seen over the years, the last couple of years where we've had events, that the ongoing relationship of these advisors has continued. Many of them work together um, behind the scenes and help each other. Uh, and then we have uh, we have had some virtual events. You were on one of our last virtual events, and um, that went over extremely well. We do have our own um, event app so that we can manage and and really roll that out in a very professional manner. Um, so yeah, and of course we're big on you should take BAMs. Everybody wants to take a familiarization trip. So you know, we're big on that. If there's if you qualify for them and they're available, go for them. They're they're one of the benefits. They're they're one of the tools to help you grow your business. So we want just to open up as many avenues as are possible to us. Uh, we don't want to restrict anybody's ability to to develop and design their business as they see it unfolding. Um, and we're just there to support them in whatever way we can. Yeah. I appreciate that. And by the way, I appreciated your event platform so much. I have quite a bit of experience in working with different virtual events. I filled up those meetings and it went off without a hitch. So yeah, quite valuable. Thank you. We've, we've gotten a lot of very positive feedback on that. And we're we'll expanding that more and more. Um, we're going to be using it uh, much more to the benefit of the agents. I can see that we'll be doing some um, maybe have a BDM come in and do a presentation, um, selling into groups, um, you know, helping them market directly to their clients. So that platform gives us a lot of flexibility. We're still experimenting with and exploring the full, the full option. So, you know, the, the sky's the limit. And yeah. so we constantly look to see what else we can do to provide a better service to our our customer, the independent advisors. I think it's exciting and it's necessary too, Bill. In today's world, there are so many that, yes, successful advisors I see that are traveling and expanding their knowledge and they're able to manage their work from on the road. And then some based on other life needs or, or requirements or commitments, those virtual meetings are, are pertinent, aren't they? To have that option. And so mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, if we try to control and fit everybody into the same box or a series of boxes, I think we do the general public harm. And I think we do the industry harm. I think the more that you open up the doors and let creativity come about and let people truly uh, experiment within their own business of what do they think will work and what don't they think. And um, I think we need to encourage that creativity is very necessary. And uh, so we just want to facilitate that as best we can. Yes, I hear you. I know. 
I love the fact that I'm sort of, it never stops the learning of the creativity out there today. There are advisors that, you know, specialize and position themselves in many different ways. Isn't right. it the truth? Whether it's uh, recently, we had a wonderful uh, young lady that specializes in focusing on groups for people that have extreme food allergies, or maybe it's accessible travel for those that are a wheelchair user. Um, but there's there are endless ways, aren't there, and, and groups and so on. In the supplier network, because we open it up to so many suppliers around the globe, it gives the individual agent the ability to decide who best supports that customer because each customer's needs is different and though you may have your standard go-to suppliers you always need that one that can provide that extra little attention to detail um, and so it's uh, part of the training that we provide to help navigate that and yes it's just about providing opportunity, and we're excited to be able to do that. That's great. And I know there are so many suppliers that you work with throughout the industry, correct, Bill? And is that changing or remaining fairly constant? What do you see? Um, we've added a number of suppliers um, based on the particular uh, focus that agents coming to us, advisors want different ability to do different things. And sometimes you can't use the standard big boys that are out there. And you really need to go and look for those really boutique style um, suppliers that can meet those individual needs. So when we have an advisor come that is got a little unique spin, we want to first of all, make sure it's a sustainable business model uh, before we, you know, go overboard in the process. But if their request for bringing on another supplier makes sense, and we don't have somebody, we don't have enough variation, enough selection, we don't want to just drive all business to one or two suppliers, because that's all we have in there. We, we do believe in the free enterprise system, that competitive spirit, and so we're all about putting multiple suppliers in that do the same similar type of product lines. Uh, we think yeah. it's good for everybody. Yes, I hear you. That's great. And when you think about, which I know you have a lot to think about, the opportunities and growth that Legato is focused on um, for your network in the coming years. I know we probably can't share any secrets, but I think you have some exciting things in the hopper, don't you? We do. We have a number of partnerships that we're going to be um, releasing the official releases on them over the next couple of months. Um, we are very big on bringing technology in. Uh, we're excited to look at ways to uh, uh, I'll throw one out as an example. Uh, we have recently developed a product to start the process of eliminating the need for agents to report their sales to their host. Isn't that exciting? Can you imagine not having to report your sale? No. Uh, so we're working on some really cutting edge ways of helping the advisor actually free up a lot of the administrative hours. You and I've been around this industry long enough to know the number of wasted man hours in just the administrative tasks. And every one of those hours, we bring people away from the primary focal point, which is their customers. All we're doing is we're decreasing the availability of meeting the, the customer's needs. And the demand is so high that if we can free up a lot of those hours where advisors can stay focused exclusively uh, facing toward the um, facing toward the consumer and not having a lot of this cumbersome back end, um, we're all better off. And so that's what we're working on. But we do have some exciting new partnerships coming up. Uh, we're definitely um, uh, really seeing a lot of pieces come together all at one time. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, good. We'll stay tuned on that. 
And yep. Bill, what? How should we advise uh, advisors that are interested in looking in or or registering with your network and getting started? Where should we send them? Yeah. So our website is where you get the initial contact. Our website is legatohost.com. And at the bottom, there is a calendar there. You can schedule a meeting with us and uh, we'll talk and kind of see where, what you're trying to accomplish in your own meeting, in your own business, and see if there isn't a natural partnership. And if so, then we'll walk uh, individuals through the uh, process. We do require that all of our advisors are registered as a business entity within their states. They don't necessarily have to be an LLC, whatever type of a business structure the state rec uh, permits, but we do require that everybody is a standalone business because we do view our model as a business to business relationship. Um, so that's an important thing for people to understand is that um, you, you are really opening up your own business. This is not um, quasi employed by somebody. No, this is this is your business. This is you're opening up your doors for business. And so we do view people as a coming to us as business owners, first and foremost, and that they happen to be in the travel industry. Uh, so we take the business aspect of it very seriously. Yes, of course. I appreciate that. We all of the time say we are looking for those that are serious about their business because we right. want to seriously support them. And I love that you mentioned, Bill, you know, the thought thinking forward of minimizing the amount of admin steps and things that, you know, are maybe not working as smart as we could be. We feel the same here, of course, at TIS, and we're always thinking about the function of every solution that we have within our comprehensive suite. So that's why we're such a good partner, Bill. And I think one one thing that um, I don't think a lot of people understand about our business model is because we don't charge all the fees, the monthly fees, the annual fees, we're not taking big commission splits or any of that. Our business model says that we don't succeed unless we help others succeed first. Uh, so we don't make any money at all until advisors start making money. And we all know in this industry, those commissions seem to, sometimes they seem like they are way off in the future from when you've done the work. Um, and, and in many cases they are, but our business model does say that we don't succeed without helping you. So we're willing to put, um, we're really willing to put ourselves out there and and stand by what we believe in. That's great. That's great. I appreciate. Well, let's give a moment for any questions. Anybody on the call with us? Lisa, Janine, thanks for joining live today. Are there any questions that you might have for Bill? Anything we can assist or guide you on? Don't be shy. This is the time. Everyone are, is certainly so busy today that I appreciate those that have joined us. And for those that are going to watch later on a recording, I've placed the Legato website in our chat area. That's legatohost.com for any of you that are interested in finding out more and or scheduling a meeting with the Legato team to discuss the opportunity together. Well, um, there's a, I think there's a question coming in here. Let me see what it was there. I saw something about Clea. Um, the, uh, I think the, there's a question about Clea. Yes. I'm not seeing it there again. I you're thought... right. You're right. I It just popped up for me. Yeah. Uh, thank well, we, you. Thank you. Yeah, Lisa so, asked. Yeah. So the, we are an ARC accredited agency through the Airline Reporting Corporation. Gives us the ability to sell all forms of travel around the globe, including airline tickets. We are members of Clea. We're members of um, ASTA, 
and we're also members of IATA. Those are the uh, affiliations that we have. And thanks for asking. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Janine, for your comment as well. If there isn't anything else remaining, I'm going to thank you so much, Bill, for sharing. I appreciate you and Jonathan and your whole team. We value our partnership so much and especially going forward with the new things that are new things and new announcements coming down the pike. Yeah, we're excited and thank you so much for this opportunity. And we too appreciate the partnership with TIS. It's been a, a very enjoyable and it's been very beneficial to our advisors. We thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I wish you a good end to your week. Thank you very much. All right. We'll connect again soon. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.